manifest. To manifest. Celebrate God this morning. Celebrate God this morning. Let the person beside you know that God is beside you. Celebrate God once again this morning. If you know that you are not going the same way, celebrate God this morning. Celebrate God this morning. Tell the person, I am better than you. What the book of my darken you? Eric, what's the darken? Turn to another person. I'm better than you. I'm better than you, man. I'm better than you, man. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I am just glad this morning with all those testimonies. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, Mama Dosumu, where are you? And uh, uh, come here, come here. Both of you come here. Come here, quickly, run. Uh -huh. Mama, come here. Uh -huh. You, you can see that my mind is looking pretty. How many of you know that always one pastor then? That pastor checking my mind, they are here to make me. Uh -huh. Pastor, there's a big mama, Emma Loyer. Oh, my big mama is beauty by it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You will live long to enjoy your children. <laughs> see, <laughs> Mama, so pay you are shaking it. I am told you many times that poverty is not good, though. So, quick, man, no. More than a shocku. Man, no. More than a shocku. Yes. Abby? Man, shake it. More than a shake it. More than a shocku. Yes. Hallelujah. When you see this particular mama at the uh, Ilepo, Oh, the Roko. <laughs> Mama Sukuwa Bami. Only pa, only, only now, much more, only more, oh, be my room. Kin Mama Shele, but Mama Shabaru. Abi? That's what Mama does. Go and look at Mama Mini Supermarket in her house now. Go and look at it. Go and look at it. It look as if you do not come, but he came. Isn't it? I want to do road to Lua. How to a bar of wash you. How to a go can be it. How to a lucky young boy. I want to do road to Lua. How to a bar of I told you many times. He said, Believe in your God, you shall be established. Believe in his prophet, and you shall prosper. See. Youth, listen to me. I only use this Bakla Mamans to make an example for us. If there be people that need to go back to village in shame, they are the one. But they maintain. Remember the prayer, Pastor, Prophet, pray for us. Power to remain. Men of faith. In the face of any world, challenges. But power what? To remain. Mama, you no kuni, but he remain. And why he remain is enjoying the goodness of God. I'm not talking to somebody here. This mama is supposed to have, he told me, he said, Pastor, we'll very locate Crown Church. We need to bury Locate in church. Where is a disappointment that your enemy will be making mockery of you? I said, stay. Let them mock you. We will fix the man to come on Igbaya, Nibobo, go see Koto Kongo, or Long Lokon. I'm not talking here. See, I've told you, see, forget about Pastor Johnson, though. My own is to take your case to God. It's for God to answer. Only what happens is that I must do my responsibilities. And that's what I do. 
but who to fix the situation is not Pastor Johnson. Am I talking here? And that is why whenever you come here, never joke with this altar. Somebody hear me here? Never joke with this altar. Hallelujah. But, but look at it. That woman that you brought, if she will give birth. When I got back home, God said, you are, he's using you as an instrument of bringing prophecy to the life of that particular woman. I didn't know that you are going to be appointed among the matron of the children. And when I got back, the Bible said, God told me, he said, you are going to carry the baby of that particular woman when we are celebrating the next anniversary. Yeah. That's, I hear it clearly. So go and announce to her. It is settled. I don't know you are going to be among those particular, but God said your name. Should, I, I got the meaning when I got back home that you are assigned because you need to carry the baby. Hallelujah. You are going to pray a prayer to this altar that this altar, as long as I hold on to you, I will not be disappointed. Go ahead and pray that prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, as long as I hold on to you, as long as I hold on to you, I will never, I be, will disappointed. never be disappointed. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the because precious there is name, possibilities in your name, Lord. As long Even as though I hold he slays me, name, yea, Lord, I, I will wait on him until my argument. change comes. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh, I will never be disappointed. As Your as eyes I were enlightened, and they Lord, were not I will never ashamed. Be disappointed. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will never be put to shame. In Jesus, in the name marvelous Jesus. name we pray. Amen. Fire. Second prayer. Lord, use this order to change my position. Am I talking somebody here? See, when atmosphere is so conditioned like this, you must be able to tap into it. Because angel with those particular testimonies are still working up and down to make happen in the life of people that plug into it. Lord, by the power of this altar, change my position. Open your mouth and talk Father, to God. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, change oh my position. Lord, as the power of this Ye altar, change my pada. position. In the mighty name Ye of Jesus, pada, si Lord, I drop everything Ye at your feet. Pada, si I want you to change my position. Ye in the mighty name of Jesus, Ye as the power of si this altar, change my position. Pray in the prayer. mighty name of Jesus, choose the power of this altar to change my children's position. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh in Lord. Jesus, marvelous name we pray. Amen. Fire. I decree over your testifier that forever in your life your testimony shall abound in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. You are there this day and you are saying, God, if you can do it for this one, I am the next on the line for miracle. Before this year, next year, next year, you too, that thing you ask for, it will become reality of your testimony. Amen. You will come out of that house by yourself. Amen. You will come from that particular testimony. Amen. You will point to them. This is what you asked for. And the Lord are making it happen Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Lord, we honor your name. Thank you, Jesus. Let your name be praised. Amen. Take all the glory. Amen. Let the blessing be our portion. Amen. In Jesus' marvelous name we pray. Amen. 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 Fire. Please go back to your seat. God bless you. Father, teach us the word once again. Let it come as an anointing to our hearts. Let our hearts receive with a fertilized earth. Let it bring perfection and performance to our life in Jesus' name. In the atmosphere you have created right now, let the Spirit have intercourse to birth a new manifestation in the life of people in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I believe in you that you can only do that which you can only do. And Father Lord, make it happen in the midst of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we honor your name. Let your name be praised. In Jesus' marvelous name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Now welcome to wonder of his present service. Amen. I want to continue in the teaching I was making in the first service. I have a general topic that I said engaging the supernatural which covers all my teachings today but under a teaching called World Encounter for Supernatural 
world encounter for supernatural manifestation. Hallelujah. I made them to understand what supernatural is all about. It's an operation of the spirit in and over natural realm. And I made them to understand when you see a man walking, it is normal. But when a man begins to fly, it is unusual. There's a spirit that is upon that particular man that makes him to fly. So when you see a witchcraft that they said they always fly in the night, ordinarily by themselves, they cannot. But they already connect themselves to a power that is higher than them. That is why they could be able to do what normal people cannot do. I'm a tongue someone here. And I established for every one of us in that particular service that supernatural realm, it exists. Meaning a spiritual realm, it what? It exists. And a spiritual realm is more powerful than the physical that you are seeing. I'm a tongue someone here. It's more powerful. If anything is going to happen to a man in the physical, it must have already happened to him in the spirit. I'm a tongue somebody here. You two know when you are watching that Bakla movie, they will say, Omo Lagbaja, Omo Lagbaja, as I call you here, don't answer to this art. Answer to beyond. I'm a tongue somebody here. So immediately you might hear him saying, Oh, thou, oh, you are just hearing it just for emptiness. He already be confirmed there, what? In the spirit. They already welcome that particular person to what? Into another place. I'm a tongue somebody here. That is how powerful that particular realm is over the physical. So anytime you see things that is unusual happening around, don't take it with a levity hand. You yourself, you activate yourself in the spirit. I've already told us many times, never allow your seat to be vacant in the spirit. For many of you that are following my ministry, you, all, you will have been hearing me saying this often and often. That when the assembly of the meat of the spirit are being inculcated, never let your own seat word be vacant. Because any decision they make in that particular assembly of the spirit, it can be disastrous on the earth. I'm not talking about here. It can be disastrous on the earth. Amen. You are there when you are reading the book of Job. Job vacant seat was there in the spirit when all the matter concerning his life had been concluded. I'm not talking about here. But you cannot expect Job to be in the seat of assembly and they are deciding his case. I will not say, God, you said to us that thou shall not. I'm not talking about here. And truly, because you are connected to God's confection, God will not allow it. But it was vacant in what? In his seat, in the spirit. I'm not talking about here. Many things you see that is working after men today that are not that are abnormal, that are not going in consonant with the destiny that God had for them. All this thing does not, it's not decided in the physical, it has been decided in the spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. We learn in the story of Moses when God has a connection with him in the spirit, that the rod in your hand will not only longer be a rod that will chase sheep and what and oxen but it shall be a rod that will be for signs and what and wonders i'm not talking somebody here the children of israel saw a rod pointed to the sea they forgotten that there's a host of heaven that already invited to part the sea i'm not talking somebody here anytime you see unusual occurrence never be deceived there's a spiritual interaction that makes this happen i'm not talking somebody here I told them in that particular first service that I've seen people that why he was drinking water, he just eat up and the water come out of his nose and there he died. I'm not someone here. They only use the channels of water. The man had been killed in the spirit for a long time. I'm not someone here. That's why you pray. And to take pare to make a water on similono. Want to part on shibone car greeny. I'm not talking someone here. Amen. That is why issue of the spirituality, you should not joke with it. The atmosphere over your life is more than the physical. And you can't buy spirituality in the bank. It's not in the vault of any bank. It is the hands of God. I'm not talking someone here. That is why you must be able to activate your seat in the spirit. Hallelujah. We learn from the Bible, Luke chapter number 13, verse number 6. 
verse number 16 rather. Luke 13, verse number 16. Let's start from there. In order for us to be explained to this morning concerning some things. So, hot not this woman, meaning that other normal circumstances, this woman is the sole daughter of what? Abraham. And if truly is a daughter of Abraham, this need not to happen to her. That's what they are explaining to us here. If truly you go to church, if truly you pray, this need not to happen to your business, this need not to happen to your marriage, but it eventually happens. Why? It is not because of you. A spirit has been conjured, has manipulated to make it happen. I'm talking to somebody here. Anything you have not been participated into, or you are not part of the contributor effect, and it happens to you, don't take it with the levity hands. I'm talking to somebody here. Amen. Amen. Let me give you an instance. Something happened in my organization one day. I am not among the people that that thing affected, but because I am their supervisor. They said everyone in that line of rank should be giving query. Am I talking to somebody here? Meaning when they give anybody query in my organization for the next two years, you are not going to be promoted because it's already in your fire. Am I talking to somebody here? And devil might be looking for a way of making me to be stagnated, isn't it? And he, because he could not have his space to me, he will have his space to people that are around me. Because you know that when he affects them, I will be counted among. I'm not talking to somebody here. And truly it happens. And I told you many times in this particular church, I said you can change the condition. When you change the condition, the output what will be changed. Isn't it? They that are there, they could not be able to understand what is happening in the spirit. Me, I understand. That it is not them, it is me that they are looking for. I'm not talking to somebody here. Because if they could be able to succeed, it make me to be stagnated, my testimony will be difficult, will be inadequate in the sight of men. You will not. Oh, they're shaking me. I'm not talking somebody here. Amen. That's where they are going to. But when I signal it in the spirit, I get back home. I said, me and everyone that is around me, let this weather change. And how does it change? The person that is going to make that particular query, he was promoted and he was being relocated from that particular seat into another place. And the new person that he brought to that particular table, he said he does not know about that particular story. Let them what cancel it. It looked like magic. It is not magic. Because somebody entered into the spirit and changed the situation. Somebody hear him here. So, when something is happening to you, learn how to interact with the Spirit. When you do not interact with the Spirit, you will be the consequence of that particular situation. You will be the one, Toma Nolegba, Toma Gia. Sorry, I want to Gia, I want to say, 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 but because you could not what, stop it, it also what affects you. It can happen anywhere. I'm not talking to someone here. It can happen anywhere. This man is supposed to be a daughter of Abraham. Whom Satan, who bound him? Who bound him, sir? Meaning there's a spirit that bound a man. He bound up a clever woman for how many years? 18 years. 18 years. See, I've told them in the first service. I said, this world is not a surprise that is wicked and it will continue to be wicked until Jesus Christ comes. Never hope that this particular world will be better. Only what happens is that your own goshen should be better. Your own goshen should be better. If you're expecting Egypt will be better. No, Egypt will be labeled as a city that took people forward slavery. As simple as that. And Nebuchadnezzar had be the king of the Babylonia that always, whenever he has eat all that yo, oh my man, woman in your city, you know, no, yes, sir. I'm not talking to somebody here, but you can say, in my own goshen, there shall be light, and truly there will be light because it is the power of the spirit. 
He was bound for 18 years. And he said, be loosed from the what? From this bound or what? On the Sabbath days. Listen to me. Between a Sabbath day and somebody being healed, which one is better? Being healed what? Being healed. But if you read the, post, the next portion of this particular verses, people in the city were angry that this woman was ill for a what? On a Sabbath day. A woman that has suffered for what? 18 years. Yet, you know, what's the end of the morning? Nobody was there. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Spirit realm is always active at any internal time. It is only in the natural. That we experience dormancy, we experience inactivity and passivity. Hallelujah. But in the spirit, one soon, one danger. Am I talking somebody here? Yeah. It is on this earth that we always what sleep. It is on this earth. One people will check in see me dear, or they may dear. But in the spirit, they never have that kind of language. They never have that kind of experience. That is why Bible says to us, wash and what and pray. That you might not enter what into temptation. It's so powerful. At any moment on guided time, he said, when everybody slept, they came. They are always over it. Even their father, he was telling God, he said, Where are you coming from? He said, I go to and fro. He never tired. He never tired. He, in fact, he's looking for the next marriage that is going to collapse. He's looking for next life. He's going to make to commit suicide. But you'll never be a partaker. Amen. Your own will not be a partaker. Amen. Your destiny will not be a partaker. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It goes about. Spirit life is so... In fact, the way we sit down like this in the physical, that is the way it is in the spirit. Have you heard your brother say, Oni kalu kuni ele de. Iwo ori shu mo I pray for somebody here. May you not look like not what your elder said you should be in Jesus' name. Yes. Because some people, what they should be truly on the physical is not what they will have in the spirit. Am I talking to somebody here? That is why engagement of the spirit is very important for every children of God. We should not desist from it. When they go to Abalis to hurt a man, they don't look for the physical of that particular man. They only call the spirit to be. I'm not talking somebody here. They call the spirit to be. They will say, Tuti, Oya Joko Sinu Kokoi, Bashen Gunyoni Nunu Kokoi, Beni Kik Beaye Komo Shekini, Koma Rurumu Womu. And the woman will go back to business tomorrow. One year not to Joe Jare. And the woman, Panola Noni, Kino Eko Spark, Ibe Kono Lumak Bawale. I'm not talking somebody here. Hallelujah. Don't joke with the things of the spirit. Don't joke with it at all. Instead of you to say, every spirit of cough, I rebuke you. Am I talking to somebody here? It might look so foolish in the sight of people that sat down with you. You better rebook it. Jesus knew by intelligence of the disciple, they thought that they are what? Master in the voyage. But when the storm came and the wind came, they thought that they can be able to put the water out of what? Out of the canoe. But who that created the heaven and the earth? He said the, the, situation, the situation is more than what? More than the physical. Yeah. And Bible says he rebuked what? The wind. And the what? The sea what? Remain calm. Yeah. He remained calm. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So things are spiritual. Don't just take things with levity on. Many people will be walking with you on the road. Most of them already robed yourself into fraternity with the spirit. Am I talking to someone here? 
whoever that need to really even look at your life and tell you that ah you are Omo okay they are giving back to you in social place it's not just doing ordinarily he has fraternized with his spirit but because you do not know the spirit that is inside of you you begin afraid of what is telling you because your spirit inside of you has told you i shall tell you all things that what that is coming so by him telling you he's not a surprise is what the only ghost inside of you can what can tell you to don't let somebody play into atm in your life and turn you to rag because you two do not recognize the spiritual atmosphere hallelujah i've seen a woman that a prophet connected to his business one day the business here yes one general and asked the woman I said, Mama, you are doing well in this particular business. Hey, see, go was the bank more. Only pay one yota call to only one car crati. She won't fetch a culinary. Go one one way, make a jay one while abroad. One send the worst year or jadenta. Prophet Kawawa, only pay ah, Mama, to bad diola, a god of one, even between two to bati roll. Prophet no to Mokojo Maro, tell it a letter. Subo Mokojo Maro. But to waro only pastor ah o joye ti ro to to be se so yin lo se kini lori o ti mu esa go may your eyes of spirit be open see bible have told us it said in this end time there will be a false prophet yes and truly they are prophet that they will be speaking like the way god is speaking but it take the spirit of God in you to discern what spirit is driving this prophet. I'm not talking to somebody here. What spirit is driving this prophet? Have you not heard in many social media that they will bring prophet to a radio station? Why do you stay with this particular church member? About three of them. And so that probably what is the and it's not their fault when anyone do not have operation of the spirit of God inside of himself he will fall victim Amen. You can't define your life. You can never measure it. And what you cannot measure, Taylor will tell you, because you what? You said they should not measure. I'm not talking to somebody here. This is how people enter into destruction. So I need to make you to understand what the utterances of God is. A respect of supernatural manifestation. And the reason why I am explaining this is that so that you will not because you are hungry for supernatural manifestation you enter into the hand of the evil ones there was a particular video i posted to the pastor's uh, platform a man of god contracts a lady because the pastor wanted to remain he wanted to have a reputation that i am a pastor among those that perform miracles so he contracted that particular lady. Lady will go and bring so many other people and maybe do rehearsal with them in respect of testimonies. So that when they come into the church of God, they will ask them that people that are blind come forward and meanwhile they are not blind. Meanwhile they are not what? They are not lame. But they already do the RNG at the back. And after they apprehended that particular pastor, they said, why are you doing this? They said, I want to keep my reputation. The man that is asking him or interviewing him, not ask him, is that the way other ministers of God that are big are doing it? He said, Oh, no, many too much. He can destroy somebody's life. I'm telling you, if you subscribe to that language that Oh, no, many too much, before you know, you too will be doing the way they are doing. Am I talking to somebody here? 
please never subscribe to that Bakla language. But make sure that you are what he said, walk your faith with fear and what and trembling. Yes. See the song that the choir sing for us. That what is difficult for order to what to make happen. That I God, I will make it what happen for you. I'm a tongue somebody here. Only what happened to that pastor is this. Bible told us something in the book of Ephesians. It said, let everybody stay in his own calling. Have you read it before? Let me make it a practical example for you. The day battery in the car, in the engine of a car said, I want to take a position of a plug. That's the day the car will destroy. I'm a tongue somebody here. Now let, let me ask you a question. If both of them stay in their position, is the car moving? If they change position, will they move? No. As simple as that. I'm not talking somebody here. So when we are talking about supernatural manifestation, it has a way God wants us to what? To manifest it. To the extent that you to bring glory and dignity to that God. I'm not talking somebody here. So listen to me. Hallelujah. Amen. Supernatural manifestation is the overflow of the Holy Spirit attributes and dimensions through vessel of God. Let me explain again. When you say something is a supernatural manifestation, number one, we understand supernatural interaction of what? Operations of what? Of the spirit. Now, manifestation in accordance to the Holy Ghost connections. It means an outflows of the Holy Spirit attributes, write it down, and dimensions through vessel of God. Now, vessel of God does not mean pastor. Vessel of God does not mean evangelist. Vessel of God here means the sons of God. The endless expectation is waiting for who? The manifestation of what? Of the sons of God. I'm not talking somebody here. So when you hear me saying vessel of God, I mean sons of God. Somebody hearing me now? Either you are wife, either you are husband, either you are whatever level or category you belong to. I'm talking about what? Vessel of God. We translate to mean what? Songs of God. So hear it again. Supernatural manifestation is the outflow of the Holy Spirit attributes. Underline the word attribute. And also dimensions. That is Holy Ghost dimension. Through a vessel of God. To bring about unusual occurrence or possibilities. John chapter 7. I will read from 38 to 39. Quickly go there if you can find it for me. John 7, 38 to 39. It is an outflow of Holy Spirit in a man. Let me explain this. The day you are born again, your spirit man is regenerated. What I mean by regenerated is this. When we are being separated from the life of God, our spirit man is dead. Our flesh is only alive. That is why you always say that Aram Fuen, Aram Fuen. Aram Fuen is a language that is common, but in the spirit is a rejected language. Am I talking somebody here? Only what you say, if you are in the spirit, is that Thor says the spirit of God. Am I talking somebody here? Because Araton Fuen, only Jeko says she, 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 Am I talking somebody here? Araton Fumi, no. Oti Pet, Oti Man, Pedele. I tell you, go to the office. I dare shake any, I buy ye, be ya worship any, I buy Because I ran shake any around for yes. I ran to suffer me, kill us off when what to my way, what's up well, or shame me, or shake any, or dead who or follow you. You're forgotten that behind every action, there's a spirit behind it. Only a me and see one who do that see, Abby. Judas is my John Jale Ulua now. I'm not talking somebody here. So when make a lot of shaking, oh one way, he was she one. He read me a lot of shaking. Low one in red. So Jesus not bury. He said, "Who are you?" He said, "I am a legion." So he was shaking. I was poor. Many people. It's not only person. I'm not talking somebody here. This is how God wants a believer to behave against any circumstances. That is why supernatural is an outflow of the operation of the Holy Spirit attribute and its dimensions in the vessel of God, which are called the sons of God, in order to bring unusual occurrence or possibilities. Hallelujah. Bible told us in this place, he said, He who believes in me, 
He what? As the scripture has said, out of what? Out of his heart, we what? We flow rivers of a living water. I'm not talking somebody here. The rivers of the living water in that particular place, it means the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Outpouring of the Holy Spirit. So the day you became born again, they see what? Your spirit is what? Regenerated. When you are transformed, then you are ready for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. I'm not talking somebody here. Meaning that every operation of the Holy Spirit in you, it must manifest in you. That's what we call what? Supernatural word manifestation. Yes, I'm going somewhere. So that we will not have a wrong minister ministering to us. That until when you perform miracles, only then you are having what? Supernatural manifestation. Performing miracle is only part of supernatural world manifestation. It's not the total manifestation. I'm not talking somebody here. I'm going. So I'm teaching you this so that you will not be under under pressure to go and do what God has not called you to what to do. I'm not talking somebody here. Hallelujah. I know why I'm teaching this because I'm a minister and I've also been under minister that I'm ministering. And I've seen that many of them, because they want power, they left many attributes of what? Holy Spirit. As a result, they only manifest the gift of the Holy Spirit. They don't have the character of the Holy Spirit. Somebody hearing me here? This message needs to be balanced. It needs to be balanced. When you look at the life of Jesus, none of these two is shortcoming in his life. He performed miracles as a manifestation. He also lived an exemplary what life as what as a miracle. Because your exemplary life is also what a miracle. Because many of us do not do this. We thought that only when you heal the sick, only then you are manifesting supernatural. It's a lie. I'm not talking somebody here. Amen. I will balance this by clarity. Just follow me. It's good for me to come to bring you to the surgical room. You know, distort some certain thing in you. Then repackage it. After repackage it, and I said, let the light, let light be what? Let there be life. Then you are better. Am I talking somebody here? Hallelujah. But this is poor. Concerning what? I can't hear you. Concerning what? The spirit. Remember what he said? Out of you shall flow what? Rivers of what? Living water. And I said, that living water, I'm telling you, what does he call it now? Spirit. Who's what? Who's those believing in him? What? We received. And for the Holy Spirit was not yet what? Given at that time. Because what? Jesus was not yet glorified. Hallelujah. Amen. So when you read the book of John chapter number 7, you will see Jesus, chapter number 17, Jesus begins to pray in that particular place. He said, Father, glorify the Son. Because the Son of what? Glorify you. I'm not talking somebody here. Hallelujah. Jesus spoke this word, lifted up his eye to the heaven, and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify what? Your Son. That what? Your Son also what? May glorify you. What glory acts that Jesus is looking for? Has he not opened the eyes of people? Talk to me. Has he not raised the dead? So what manifestation is he looking for? Go to verse number 6 to 7 of this particular verse. Quickly. I have what? Manifested your name. It's not, is that not a manifestation? It said in my name shall what? Shall you cast out what? Demons. Is that not what he said? He said, I have manifest what? Your name. To what? To the men who what? Whom you have given me out of this world. They were yours. You gave them to me. And they have kept your word. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus talking here. To make us understand. The manifestation of the spirit. Is not only in the miracles. It's also is all encompassed. Let me explain to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Our connection with the divine agency called the Holy Spirit 
he makes us a channel of spiritual manifestation. What did I mean is this. As long you do not have a connection. When I say connection, what I mean is this. A relationship and fellowship with Holy Ghost. Somebody hearing me here? A person you have a relationship with, you won't forget his name. A person you always have a fellowship with, you won't forget his character. Am I talking to somebody here? Somebody you don't have a relationship or fellowship with, when they ask you, be oh, she ah, more, more, let me go up there, more, tell like a bush, shaking here, bush, you're in here. Let no oppression of Holy Ghost be a surprise to you. What did I say? Let not what the oppression of what Holy Ghost be what a surprise to a believer. No, sir. Let it not be a what, surprise to you. That Holy Ghost is operating in your life. He says you should live an exemplary life because he wants to demonstrate your life as a living testimony. Am I talking to somebody here? Hallelujah. When you are talking about the manifested attribute of the Holy Spirit. Then you come to talk about wisdom. You come to talk about fruit of the Spirit. Then you come to talk about understanding, knowledge, might, and good counsel. When you are talking about the attribute of Holy Spirit, it tells you that it shall be a spirit of what? Of truth. Is that not? It said it shall tell you what you do not remember and what, what, what to come. Is that not? Now, let us now look at the life of Daniel and Joseph. Where in the Bible you see Joseph opening people's eyes? Please raise up your hand and tell me that Joseph in the land of Egypt, he opened somebody's eyes. Did he not command supernatural manifestations? Talk to me, church. He did. By what? By the wisdom of what? Holy Spirit. Daniel, in the Bible, do you see him raising a what? A lame man? Or raising a dead? But Bible told us, Nebuchadnezzar make a confession. We shall from this day serve what? The God of Shadrach, Meshach and what? And Abednego. Where do you see them manifesting miracles? By opening people's eyes. They only see their character. Am I talking to somebody here? When I see your character, I will know maybe you are manifesting the supernatural power of God. Because it isn't easy for somebody in the midst of lie and you are not lying. I'm not talking about here. In the midst of people committing adultery and fornication and you are not part of them. I'm not talking about here. In the midst of people begin to turn paper to hard one zero and a zero and a zero and zero and you stand still that I will not defy myself with the king's mates. That is what supernatural word manifestation. Because somebody is looking at you that if this thing is working for him, I will ask him, how did he become it? And they came to Jesus. He said, we have noticed, John chapter 3 verse number 2, that no man can do all this thing except what? God be with him. Somebody hear me this morning. Hallelujah. So that when you go back to your office, you might not be able to say, I cast out all those particular headaches in that person. But everybody in your office, they will say, we want to be like Johnson. We want to be like Mr. Farmi Lane. We want to be like the King Olorun Femi. We want to be like the, uh, Mrs. Ogundikwe. Why? Because they look at your life and say your life portray what? Supernatural manifestation. But ah ah. That is what we call salt. That's what we call light. And that is what we call a top mountain city. Somebody hear me here. And there's no place salt will enter that you will not see in flames. You may not see it on the top of the food. But you know that definitely salt is here. By the time you tasted it, you will feel the supernatural manifestation. Am I talking here? Yeah. And Bible said, when the light shining, darkness word could not comprehend it. That is supernatural word manifestation. Somebody hearing me here? Hallelujah. Amen. So, do not forget likewise that you are not only made to just have character. Your character is supposed to influence order. And number two, God do not operate in one dimension. He operates what? Marvelous dimensions. And that is why he said, 
I call you to myself and I give you power to cast out what? Demons. I'm not talking somebody here. So demons in your house cannot be cast out by character. It can be cast out by power. Somebody hearing me here now. So that you understand the word, the balance of this message. The balance of this message. Amen. You can't be telling devil when he's causing your children to be sick. Show me You are only just deceiving yourself. You will kill that particular child. It won't cancel your what? Your truthfulness. It won't cancel your integrity, but it will kill that child. I'm not talking to somebody here. That is why you not only you don't only, you don't only need the attribute of what Holy Spirit. You need the dimensions of what Holy Spirit. Let's go to the Bible. First Corinthians, chapter number twelve. Probably we we'll start reading from verse number number four. First Corinthians, chapter number twelve, from verse number four. Why I'm stretching this back class teaching is that because I want to really allow the empowerment service to come in. So that I'll round up with this back class service today. Then we'll be able to go. Are they in? God bless you. Hallelujah. Let's read this back class thing together till where we stop. Want to go. There are diversity of what? Of the gift. But what? Same spirit. Yeah. Please, listen to you very well. This will take away pressure on you. Because I've seen many believers being put under pressure to do that which they are not called to do. I'm not talking to somebody here. Amen. If other things come along what God has asked you to do, recognize it and appreciate God is an addition. I'm not talking to somebody here. What did I call it? An addition. Yeah. An addition. It said it is the same word, the same spirit. Verse number five, quickly. Five. Let's read one to go. There are what? Differences of what? Ministry. But what? Same Lord. Who do the same thing? Holy Spirit. With what? Diverse what? Manifestations. So I can enter into this particular place. And I have said, somebody is here that tomorrow they already created a coffee for him. And your name is this so, 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 so. And the reason how you are going to know is this. You will get back home today. Something will happen to you. And that's how you know that what? Something will happen to you tomorrow. And truly the person will stand up and say what? Sir, it is me. And why is it is me? I pray the host of heaven to break every coffee that is running after you. And there's a deliverance. Am I talking somebody here? Amen. And in that the same service, somebody that could not open his eyes will go back home blind. And somebody will come and tell that particular pastor, hey, tell it's a miracle. And because of that, the pastor will look for power that they do not what they have not given to him. I'm a tongue somebody here. We need to balance this station. So that you are not going to be put under pressure. I've told you, in the course of your distance of your work, God has called you to do. If you are able to do another thing, thank God the word and appreciate God. It's a word, it's an addition. You are not the one that created it. Who gave it to you? God. God. Please, is somebody understanding what I'm saying this morning? Hallelujah. Amen. Now, let's reverse the masses together. One to go. And there are what? Diversity of what? Activity. But what? It is the same God. Who what? Who walk in all. So if I, if I can ask you to open your eyes and your eyes open and you go back home and that particular pregnant woman, you could not be able to deliver and I call another pastor. Pastor, please join me in prayer to pray for this particular person. I am not inadequate. I'm only calling an anointing to join an anointing to make it what? To walk. I'm a tongue somebody here. Amen. Please. I don't want you to be in pressure. Because we are seeing many pastors, because of this backlog pressure, they went, they left their home, their family, they went to they go and sit down on the mountain. And they should then dab around morning, no lay, dear, dear. Nick Batoma Pada was no lay, and almost Yahoo Philip Colosheni, Lopamo. Because when God comes to that backlog garden of that house, He said, Adam, what? Where are you? Go, Sinele. If you ought to wipe that alone. 
I'm telling somebody here. Meanwhile, the communication of the spirit in the life of that particular man is that Nick Bobo, but time when Omo at Yahweh Bari, a Wallon Rama Shekini, a Majadi Noa Yere, one my coy bon, one of my coy mon, Latikini, Latin Noare, Shubon. That is, you know, people have a way of being pressured to go and do what they ask them not to do, isn't it? Hallelujah. Amen. Let's read this together. I want to go. But what? The manifestation of what? Of the spirit is what? Is given to what? Each one for what? For the profit of all. For the profit of all. Meaning that if you can prophesy and I can interpret, I should not be glory in my interpretation or I should not covet what? Your prophecy. But if God give it to me in my dimension, I should thank God. I'm a tongue somebody here. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going somewhere. Verse number 8. Let's read together. For to one, what did he give to them? The giving of the word of what? Of wisdom. Through what? Through the spirit. Who give it to him? Spirit. Now, to another, the word of what? Knowledge. Through who? The same spirit. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Verse number 9. To another, what did he give? Faith. By what? The same spirit. For example, see, Maybe we are in the group together. We are not told ourselves that this particular church, what we are going to do in the next three weeks is that we expand it to Laleye and Shodolamu. And somebody was there in your meeting. <laughs> One today. One if he back one shaking it. One if he power. Instead of saying that, keep quiet. There's a particular spirit that God has given to you. Go and recognize it in the matter of that work. You are not there by mistake. There's a reason God asks you to be what? In that group. So there's a spirit in the man that gives him this word, inspiration of what? Of the Almighty. Don't be greedy and don't use your mouth word to destroy the operation of what? Of the spirit. Somebody hear me here. There's a thing in you too that God has given to you that. In your own little contribution, your own can be what? Encouragement. I'm not telling somebody here. Allah, I know Allah. What took Oju Ori Wala Allah allowed? Ah, Emare Wesho, Moting Bad Prafuin. Surely, but change so fast here. It be a good shake in it. Own lessy. And you too, you are what? You are doing your what? Your work. By the time all the project finish, how many people finish it? Every one of you. As simple as that. Somebody hear me here. Every one of you. And it's not a miracle, it's a miracle. How many people manufacture it? Every one of you. Somebody hear me this morning. Now, let's read that. He said, and to another, what did he say? Gift of what? Of healings. Gift of healings. And what? Of the what? The same spirit. Verse number 10. Let's read together. And to another, what? The workings of miracles. Now, I wonder, what is the difference between miracles and what? And healing. So, I now came to understand that miracle is a general knowledge. It's a what? General language. Healing is only part of miracles. I'm not talking to somebody here. Tell somebody I'm a miracle worker. Miracle worker. Promise giver. Light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Every one of you are a miracle worker. Only what happens is it understand the calling of your own word manifestations. I'm not talking somebody here. The, please go and listen to this particular message again for proper understanding, not to be under any pressure at any time. I'm not talking somebody here. Amen. See, you, come, you saw when people are testifying to the goodness of God in this particular place. My own is to pray. I'm not talking somebody here. It's not me to what to cause what they are what testifying about. But when everything said that done, God will say, Who will the senior man in that particular church? He will point to me. But there are some people here, intercessors, men of faith, women or baby good women, the youth, the choir, that they are what doing the work together to make the miracle world happen. Yes. I'm not talking somebody. This is why. Nobody should take pride in any glory of God. He said, my glory will not know what share with anybody. 
Pastor, that you open somebody's eyes. Somebody perform miracle in the heart of that money person to convince him that today is your miracle. Let us go to church. Am I talking somebody here? Yeah. They will have sit down at home and say, Whoa, what if people more shaking it? Momo, Lomo should buy in the court bay. Am I talking somebody here? Yeah. About many color be Arakuni. One day, decide by one Bessa. And the miracle will not what? Will not happen. Somebody hear me today. Please balance this back latitude. So that you don't put yourself under pressure, unnecessary. Amen? Amen. And he said to another, what did he call it? Prophecy. It's because you don't know the working of the spirit inside of you. You are greedy. I'm not talking to somebody here. You are what? You are greedy. You are greedy. Look for that area that God will call you to what? To minister what? Manifestations. Amen. To minister manifestation. Now, he said, to another word, discerning of the spirit. Powerful. Powerful. Hallelujah. For example, I have one particular person that can market very well in one of my group. He can market anything. But when you market them, you will say, I will allow pastor to see them first. Reason. Go for what we say. He said, in the first instant, everybody is a saint. Go jalleri, mo dokori, mo jin koni koni. At the beginning, yeah. By the time pressure begin to come, I'm on who is what, who is who. So in order for me to know who is who, after I've entered into prison, now I need to operate on a word, discerning spirit. Oluwa, owa ba ele ishe ishe ni. Shubwa fumili e mi tu mo, e mi damo. And he shake a full lower become a shaking it, come off. And he will tell me, Moses of Confuiri, Abby, Mobi Lower, show my son a baby, our only national cake in a baby. Say, but the baffle, me show me only the national cake. Aha, thank God for telling me that. I'm not talking somebody here. I beg for the son, he be kicking out in Mokini. Aha, he be paying on Mochikin, Motimo. Somebody hearing me here. Many people over outside this scene and they are in the world, in the NAFCC world, prison. Yes. Somebody hearing me here. Is that not a miracle? Hey, damn alone. For me not to enter to prison. Lord, you want to be shaking me? No, I want to be shaking me. I want to be shaking me. I want to be shaking me. I want to You are making a mistake. I'm, see, I've told you, when God had that one to my ministry, it's what? It's an addition. And I should glorify God because of that. See, as I'm speaking now, there's some certain art here that have been transformed. That some things they learned before that were not working, now they are learning new things. And that is what? A miracle. Yeah. I'm not talking to somebody here. Never allow yourself to be pressurized. Somebody hearing me here. Don't be pressurized. He said to the different one, kind of what? Kind of tongues. Yes. You see some people. How many of you some see some people in Nigeria? They will see Batusa, they will see Egbado, they will speak different kind of knowledge. Have a different kind of what? Languages. And they did not get back to them in that place. Isn't it? Yes. Yes. I'm not talking to somebody here. Amen. And he said what? To so another, what do you call it? Interpretation of tongues. Verse number 11. To round up there. Let's read together. I want to go. But one and what? And the same spirit. What what? All this word distributed to all to each other individual. Oh, underline that word as what? He wills. Oh, surely. Oh, bad loss, you okay. Tolero bani fwe go shekini. Why? I'm a tongue somebody here. Amen. He won't give it to you. Because anytime we are at a particular pursuit of anything in the hands of God, God do not check our body. He checks the heart that is pursuing it. Am I talking to somebody here? He has seen pride while you are looking for that thing in your heart. As a result, he didn't give to you. Yes. He didn't give to you. That's why sometimes in the church, in order not to cobalize, if there is any particular English that are in dictionary, Amen. He do not know to cobalize the pastors. We say to you, give all your testimony as the scribe to what? To God. 
Don't mention a pastor's name. We said it. Don't mention a pastor's name. Because sometimes we have seen people in another ministry because they are mentioning only one particular pastor's name. The senior pastor look for the way of rejecting that particular pastor from what? From the ministry. Oh, she jeppe pastor ni kono mandaru ko ruko ni ba to ma be sheke ni to ma be she jere ma wa bi se ma sheke ni kin ya dano it happens am i talking somebody here it happens and it happens to people that they call king Saul only Saul will see that o she ka ju gbogbo awon to se ke ni to ye ka lo iyan to se ko se to dagba la rin la rin ke ni la ye ka re i am not the king Saul i am king David only otoshi I like, I want all I want Lori Bruku, I want to one know only one banana kini, ninu koto kini, adulamu. After some years, only a woman, not that that are kini, and a daffy in one That is why I say we are building according to God's pattern here. That's why our future is better than today. And we are going to get there in the mighty name of Jesus. See, I might be small without a gray hair, but I know the way God is driving this particular place. Somebody hear me here. And we will get there. I said we will get there. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. As I'm rounding up. The whole essence. Of right down the book of Acts. Chapter 1 to 10. I might not be able to read that. Because of our time. Acts chapter 28. Verse 1 to 10. Why I gave you that particular Bible portion is this. You know, I told you that supernatural manifestation is the outflow of the Holy Spirit attributes and what is dimensions in the life of what God vessel in order to bring about what unusual manifestation or what possibilities. And I told us attribute has to deal with what fruit of the spirit has to do with what character. I'm not talking somebody here. And I said the dimension of God has to do with what? With the gifting of what? Of God. So when you look at that portion of the Bible, we saw the character of God in Apostle Paul. Because when it was changed, everybody in the city of Jerusalem, they were afraid. And the Barnabas and the elder, the elder of the apostle says, he has what? He has changed. Let us what? Let us welcome him. Character. Meaning there's a supernatural manifesto in the life of Paul that makes his testimony to be genuine. I'm not talking somebody here. Now, he did not stand there. If you look at this particular story, the Bible says they go to an island. And that island, there was a lot of cold. And they had to pack wood together. Why they are packing wood together, they never know that the snake is there. And why they put light, the Bible said the snake what? It came to his hand and what? And bite him. People what? Ran back. They are looking at him, maybe he's going to die. And at the time, the Bible said, he shook, shook away what? The snake, and he never died. And they told themselves, God was in this place. I pray for you too. By the time you are going back home after this back class service, everything that I really challenged you before, they will bow down that God has come in Jesus' name. And if you read through that back class portion of the Bible, the Bible told us there, he said, even those who are sick in that island, they begin to bring their sick and Paul begin to lay his hand upon them and they begin to be healed. I'm not talking somebody here. And see, the whole essence of supernatural manifestation is to live a life of results and influence. That is the whole essence of supernatural manifestation. I'm not talking somebody here. When God begins to manifest, manifest himself in you through the power of Holy Ghost, number one, there will be results in the life of Paul in that particular place. Bible told us everyone in that island they begin to give Paul gifts. Gifts. One phone. Because they see the manifestation of God word in his life. I was telling a daughter, he yesterday, Moko, Mosola and one men of faith. Momo yon losi bitot mara ile abi. Monipo de fa dollars yo abi. O de se kini o fun le mlowo mo de nwa wo school show wo school ti yo bai eh dami ninu bi yin ni o ti yo mo do the tight yin and pastor to martin do the tight o ma run pa koni le soto am i talking somebody here and that does not mean that we should not be our tight because it's a covenant it's a worship to god 
Am I telling somebody say our tithe is a worship to God? It's a covenant. But listen to me, in all that, pastors should not wait on what? On tithe. If you preach well, people will give to you. If you do things that people like changes, they themselves will begin to do good in your life. I'm not talking somebody here. That is what I, see, even in your organization, in your businesses, when you have value to what you are selling, customer will not go to another place. He look for your own products. I'm not talking somebody here. We will soon get to December now. Are you planning to give your customers some certain little little gift? Yeah, those are what we call value. So that he said, whoever that is going to what? Whoever pour water, he what what? He will step on what? On the water. Is that what? That's what you are doing. You are giving value. And that's what also we call what? Manifestation. Because if you do that, you become talk of the what? Of the town. One word, my lossy be alone with you. We go do cut at him baraja. Go to your support on for any pens where you come. Go to bad or my mind. In fact, put your jet king in no no can. Oh, church machine or do to me. I won't do it. I should get it. I'm fine. You are creating men, references. I'm not talking somebody here. Oh, now call a joke or sorry, okay. Oh, you are Jackie or Jamie Should my lawn here? Yes, I won't. Go, I want to buy the Raja, go, I want to 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 so the only essence of supernatural manifestation is for what word to have result and what and influence. The last word I'm going to speak this morning. Stand up on your feet. Why are you blessed this day? Hallelujah. It's in the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 17. Revelation 22, verse 17. Very powerful. I will continue this particular teaching subsequently, either in a word of life or subsequent day that God will permit me to be on this altar. Hallelujah. Let's read this particular portion of the Bible very well. One to go. And the spirit and the bride say what? Come. That's where I want to use. Other one I'll be explaining in another day, in our another engagement. The spirit and the bride say what? Come. See when the spirit and you do not say those things you want to manifest that they should come they will stay you are the bride are we not the bride of god yes. but we need the connection of the spirit to bring those things to what into past he said the spirit and you say what come so that i can marry the spirit i said spirit i connect with you today let my husband I'm a tongue somebody here. I can connect to the spirit and say with the spirit and said, Let my glory shine. I'm a tongue somebody here. See, what this place is teaching us is that on your own, you will be a failure, unassisted. Somebody hearing me here. And the truth is that many of us wanted to deceive ourselves for a long time. We always do it by ourselves. He said, Not by power. Not by mine, but what? By my spirit. And that's what he said. The spirit and the bride must say what? Come. Yeah. They must say come. Before, because you are a bride, you are just saying whatever you like. Spirit does not what? Connect with it. It does not connect with it. Somebody learned something this morning. So next time you are making confession, Make sure you are connecting with the spirit. Don't just make confession by mere mouth. Somebody hearing me here. You know why I'm saying this? He said, Paul, I know in the spirit. Jesus, I know in the spirit. I do not see your traces what? In the spirit. What did he, what did he want to do? He want to cast out what? Devil. He want to do supernatural what? Manifestation. But in the spirit, one recognizes it. Every of the assembly of the spirit is always vacant. And he wants to make things so happen on the earth. Because it must always be what? Spirit and the bride. Say what? Come. Yes, sir. Somebody hear me here. So don't go and disgrace yourself in the sight of headache. Because that headache will enter to your family. Ah, 
mommy la baja e jo e ba gbadura fo mo yi ori funny bo se nse se kare bo yo se kini o wa ninu spirit to ba sinbe aye o lo sha agbangba e gbe wa is a spirit as is living that particular person he enter your house in fact bible say he will carry many other seven demonic spirit to enter you can see why pastor to share at Bamba, all of me, the Kubi. I'm not somebody here. See, I've grown so much in CSC. I've interacted much with many people of the CSC pastors. When you see them marry, they marry more than one woman, two more than, and one of them official your journey, no kidney, no, no church. No wonder when I look at the track record, the future of their children, especially the one that do not remove himself on time from that course. I hear Marie rather than it. Yes. Because both one way, me toughing shake, toughing shake, don't shake, but guy, don't lay lawyer, he no lay one long joke. I'm not talking somebody here. Hallelujah. He said the pride and the spirit word come. Yes. When you get back home today, just come into the spirit. He said, and the spirit of God tell me, come up what? Tita. Yes. He said, on the day of the Lord, when I was what? In the spirit. There's always the day of the Lord that you must be in the spirit. See, when I say somebody should be in the spirit, I'm not saying when you are driving, you close your eyes. Let me tell you what it means to be in the spirit. Let me, it's so simple. Don't let any pastor deceive you. To be in the spirit means that you are very sensitive to the impulses of the speaking of the spirit you are sensitive to it that while you are driving holy ghost is speaking to you when you are eating it can tell you that when you finish this particular eating go and pray for 30 minutes you may not know why he says you should go and pray for 30 minutes you just want go and obey somebody hear him here yeah. hallelujah being spiritual is not maybe uh, more warrior, more shele. No, sir. I'm not talking about here. But however, Holy Spirit cannot be in the life of people that use only handkerchief for clothes. A shoto lobe full fashion designer is only what handkerchief. Ba u no shebe no handkerchief. Toma buku bare. Ibere mo bere. Elo ma wadi. Elo she research. Yes, go and do the research. I'm not talking somebody here. Oh, what shorty? Oh, rasho. Oh, what Laura? I'm catching meji. Oh, no, come back for country. Come back, come back for country. Come back. Oh, this is getting here. Holy Ghost, you lay one man like like. Ma, 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 tore at all. Ma, tore. Holy Ghost, like big. Ah, we need evil spirit. I'm not talking somebody here. I beg you, let me own joke. Let me be me more. Own journey, no more. Abi, I hear you say me more. If I don't say banjo, make be day. Oh, don't say me. And only God never be a partaker of banjo, Moshe Kini, Mogbe day at all. I'm not talking somebody here. Amen. So when you need to be in the spirit, it means that you have to be sensitive to what? To his voice. I want you to talk to God this morning. You know why? I want you to talk to God. Open your eyes. Don't pray yet. Reason I want you to talk to God is this. Many of us will have avoided many disasters. And many injuries in life just, just because we are not sensitive to what to the impulses of the spirit yes i told you one day while i was going back home on the world towards the world of life service i was i already finished powerful ministration and while i was going only god told me do not take your normal route take another route and that day we stayed long in that back class service i want to quickly get back home but that spirit told me, he said, take another route. Why I took another route? I heard that they are not bad there, they are robbing people. See, if they do not kill anybody, it could be me, they will have killed that place. Only because what? I am disobedient to the impulses of the spirit. Somebody hear me there. You are going to talk to God. Father of life, I reactivated my spirit to hear his voice. Go ahead and pray. It's name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I reactivate my spirit for me to hear you in the mighty name of Jesus. I react.